friends, welcome back to my channel. It is a little after nine on a Saturday. Just finished up at yoga. I really like these shorts because they're like a yoga short, but they're longer. I think it's called like a five inch inseam. They're the Marika brand, but they have pockets and my phone fits in it. It's excellent. Plain old green shirt. I didn't wear pants to yoga and I'm regretting that because I didn't realize it was 30 degrees until I stepped outside and it realized it was like snowflakes falling from the sky. If you watched last week's video, you know I was having some car problems. Let's go make some breakfast and then we can talk about my car problems. <laughs> class and then my second class are so similar really the first class was very easy today it was a yoga flow for all so a lot of basic poses like triangle and warrior nothing too strenuous um, and then when I hopped over to the second class we were working on um, uh, shoulder heart no burners so one of the things we were doing is we go into bridge as we go into bridge right like this so some people you know they can get their whole like stepping up there uh, that's not me but we've been working on being able to go like this which for me is very easy and i haven't been like working on my l sit but like to me if i can do this like the l sit will come so l sit you do these guys because that gets you off the ground a little bit. Basically, people just say you should practice lifting one at a time and then your shoulders and body overall get used to it. I am not used to it yet. Um, but it's uh, three o'clock. I've been just laying around listening to Taylor Swift basically. I did a YouTube video. I'm gonna head to the store and grab a couple of things for um, dinner tonight. Okay, so we're at the grocery store. I'm gonna head in and grab, I think I need like five things that's on my list for the pasta dish that I wanna make for dinner. It's like four o'clock now, so it'll be like a really early dinner. I saw the recipe on, I think a reel, and I needed to come and get bananas anyways, because normally when I make my protein shake situation, I have a banana in there too, but we are out. So I have to get a couple things. But my car woes, basically, um, it's the absolute worst case scenario. If you watch, if you watch last week's Saturday video, um, the weird rumbling noise that just like started randomly. Um, my car has never been in an accident. I've never had a fender bender. The thing is a 2017, less than a hundred thousand miles and it needs a new engine. $8,000. Now, I have savings, right? But we just bought a house. We haven't even had the house for over a year. So that down payment was a lot of my savings. Um, so I don't have $8,000 sitting around to just put into my car that shouldn't need a new engine anyways. Um, from the situation, it sounds like this flaw is that the coolant, whatever container holds the coolant, leaks into the engine and then everything just starts failing. To me, that sounds like a recall because it is a known problem in a car that's like seven years old. If you look online, it's all these people with the same model of car that I have ha having these same problems in their Ford Escape. Well, I didn't know about this when I bought the car. Be truthfully honest, I was looking for a car that was an SUV because my dad insisted I get four wheel drive and I wanted a sunroof. Like that was my qualifications for when I was buying a car. Um, so anyways, now I owe $8,000 
to my dad because we discussed about me going to the bank and getting a loan. We decided that me going to the bank and getting a loan, um, this is so awkward. We decided that me going to the bank and getting a loan would be more interest. And because the house loan is actually under my account name, because I've been with the bank longer um, than Dan, uh, my dad is mostly retired. Um, so he decided that I, instead of going to the bank to get a loan, would just owe him money. But nobody wants to owe their dad $8,000. Like, ugh, what a bad place to be in. I'm 30 years old and I owe my dad money. Um, so basically my fun purchases have ground to a halt. No more movie nights and margaritas and like random little shopping trips. Like I get coffee like five times a week. Um, during the summer, I go get ice cream all the time after yoga. Uh, that's going to stop for a little bit. So I am going to be starting a series that'll probably be the video after this actually of me trying to live on $100 a week. Um, and if I don't, if I go over that $100, whatever, it's not a big deal, but I think it'll be fun to just kind of document because you see all these people with their hauls on YouTube, but like in this economy, living on $100 a week is really hard. Groceries are expensive. And so starting tomorrow with my normal Walmart grocery shopping, after I work my shift there, um, I'm going to just start that video. So, uh, Stay tuned if you want to see me try to live on $100 a week for, I think, about two months is what I calculated it to be. Um, I think I calculated that I'd be able to pay my dad back by the end of June if everything goes right. Because I make a lot of money in the summer because I choose to get my teacher paycheck broken up so that I get paid over the summer. Um, newsflash people, teachers aren't getting free money over the summer. It's just our paycheck that we hold back to get paid consistently throughout the summer. Um, but then I'm working at Walmart full time, so I get more money. We're just running to the store really quick to get a couple things. I think that Florida is my favorite song from the new album, which is so funny because it's just about killing someone during a hurricane, basically. It's just so catchy. Like my brain's just been playing it on repeat for the last two days. I've never tried this, but because they're on sale, they expire in May, I looked, I'm gonna try those. Um, bananas was on the list, lemons were not, but I do like a lemonade. I like these. They're fun. Okay, last thing on the list. So this is for chicken wraps, and this is obviously for chicken wraps too. So really the only thing on the list that I got that I didn't actually need was those bars and the lemon. So good for me. Waiting for this to boil. Man, taking forever. So this is after the Parmesan and the butter. It looks pretty good and I was tasting it along the way. So I can tell you that it is actually very, very good. I'm definitely gonna buy another can of chicken broth so I can make this again this week. I mentioned in a previous vlog that I was taking this photo out of the frame. So Cheyenne has of course claimed it for her own. And I put my cat one in the frame that it was in. Obviously the cat one's too small for that frame, but I have so many other puzzles that eventually I'll have a puzzle that'll fit and that's good for now. Enjoying some wheat thins and we are gonna watch um, Law and Order SVU. It's kind of my current obsession. Um, and the nice thing is I'll often do a lot of computer stuff too when I'm watching it. You don't really necessarily have to be invested into all of the dialogue, but you can still follow along with the story while you're working. Yeah, so I'm in season seven, so I'm a decent way through it. Happy Sunday, another wonderful Walmart day. Happy Sunday, y'all. Walmart shift is done. Um, I'm drinking a sparkling ice cream, the superior flavor. And I'm gonna enjoy a little skinny pop. I'm gonna watch Julia Chris um, new video that went up today. Um, I changed, I'm ready to go to yoga, but, that, but that's at 6.45. So I have two hours. Um, I'm hoping to just watch this and then go downstairs and probably make a little something to eat and then maybe come back up here. Um, Walmart is not a hard job at all, but I am literally walking around for the entire time I'm there. So I get a 15 minute break and an hour lunch. So basically seven and a half hours worth of just walking around, putting clothes away can be tiring on your legs. 
Here's our outfit of the day. Walmart tie-dye t-shirt from um, Avia. And I have it in black too, because I love it so much. This little zip up from Victoria's Secret Pink is probably from high school, I'm not gonna lie, but I love it. These are the five inch Fleo. Um, it's the high rise and I got these in my Barbella box, but you can also buy them on the website. Fleo would be my favorite like luxury sports brand. Not that paying $50 for a pair of shorts is luxury, but to me, that's a little outrageous. So I'd much rather buy it in the Barbella box as a whole. Looks pretty good for some air fryer chicken tenders. Two taco burrito situation. Ugly four. Cute cat. Goodbye, Cheyenne. See you soon. It's that weird time of year where it's uh, colder in your house than it is outside, but not like heater worthy. I remember not that long ago coming to a 645 class and not only was it obviously very dark, but it was just absolutely freezing. And that was only like a month or two ago. Guys, summer's almost here. absolutely hate that class because it's literally nothing but stretching and it was a hip day and I have horribly tight hips and so we did cow face um, like pigeon recline pigeon um, and then at the end because it's a yin class they do a little like meditation and I just basically just lay there and try not to fall asleep <laughs> I'm not a meditation kind of person. What can I say? But I figured I would show you guys my progress on Crow. I've like almost gotten it. So I figured I would show you before I end the vlog and we go to bed. And that little hop. That's all I can get. Which is not it. Because some people can hold it for like a whole minute. And that is not me. But that's okay. We will continue to practice. Volleyball on Tuesday. Can't wait. But in the meantime, thanks for watching this chill Saturday, Sunday vlog. Not much happened, but I feel like I don't do much on Saturdays and Sundays. Have a nice time, chill day.